Hey guys, welcome to vlog number 5 and this sharing and this clip actually came from a spontaneous motivational moment um, on a day before New Year's and uh, we're sharing the topic of why I think we are the most powerful people okay and uh, this happened one day before New Year's I was driving towards my uh, new venture my new uh, car care venture business called Autostar and uh, I was conducting a training for my team and you know Trainings just make me a little bit more philosophical, okay? So I've got a little bit of time while waiting for the uh, guys to arrive, so I shared this piece over here. And hey, if you want to get your car cleaned up, nice and shiny, check us out, Autostar, uh, link in the description below. Uh, I love cars, that's why we started this business. I love service, that's why we started this business as well. And uh, I just want to make cars look even shiny and that makes me happy. <laughs> so check us out, link in the description below. We have an um, outlet in Kuchai Lava and also one in Shah Alam. Okay, and also big shout out to some of my friends from Evo Club to come and support me on that day itself. We got Irfan in his Mini Cooper S. Uh, we have Keen who came in his BMW. Uh, we have uh, Chris that came around in Johan and Alan. Thank you so much for visiting us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Okay, with that, enjoy the clip. And if you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and turn on the bell notification after you hit the subscribe button. Okay, till then, love you guys and keep it 100%. Enjoy. So as I was journaling this morning, I thought I'd share this topic with you guys. Is uh, there's something popped in my head and I felt compelled to share? And the topic is this. The subject is this. Uh, the most powerful person in life in this world. Okay. So the topic is this. So as I was journaling this morning, a topic popped in my head and I thought I want to share with you guys. And it's and it's this. The most who is the most powerful person in the world? Who is the most powerful person? Well, the answer is you. You are the most powerful person. And before like you say like, oh, you're, you're blowing smoke up my ass and stuff like that, Thomas. Let me explain this to you. We all, in some way or another, why, why I believe that we are the most powerful person in the world? Because we have this amazing ability to influence. And it, the best part is that you don't have to learn this skill. You already have it. And we are actually influencing ourselves every single day, consciously and unconsciously. And how do we do it? By our stories. We have certain stories about things, about um, uh, situations, about experiences, about people in our life. And these stories fundamentally become what we, what is the operating system of your life. It's how you treat life. For example, and let me explain from how I've, I've learned my stories that, that hold me away from success and from a happier life, a better relationship, better finances. And this specific story is what affected my finances in life. So I got into direct selling in my first entrepreneurial experience. And uh, I did horrible. My first three months was so bad that I couldn't figure out how to pay rent within three months. Okay, and uh, I remember, I remember thinking like, how am I going to move out? Uh, what am I going to tell my landlord? And but it was more really shameful to to come to this point where I I might need to consider asking my dad for money, which I'm a grown adult and stuff, which is horrible. But I realized the story that's holding me back. Okay, it's not a matter of skills. It's not a matter of whether I'm good enough in selling or my product is not good and stuff. If there's a story that I was holding myself in, and the story was that salespeople are desperate. That's the story. And you see, stories I give you a tip. Stories don't show up in your head as a sentence. They usually have a sort of picture or like a movie, right? If you like that. And um, where I learned this was the credit card salespeople running around in shopping malls offering free gifts and they seem and they look like they were desperate and my at, at, at my point of view because they're, they're running around asking people to sign up and they got free gifts and yet nobody wants the free gift and I thought to myself like that's a horrible job to do right and and I created a story 
And see, that's where our influence is. It's subconscious. That's why we are so powerful. Okay? And we have the ability already to create the story. So I created a story that that uh, that salespeople are desperate. And then, and you think about it, if you take this story, why would I want to be a salesperson if, I, if I'm a... Uh, so there's only two ways, right? Why would I... If I want to be a good salesperson, I have to be desperate. Or I have to be okay being desperate every day. Because the story controls the context of approach. And I'm trapped. So if you ever feel trapped in your life, the stories is what holding you back from possibilities of expanding. And a good way to identify your story. Some of you may want to dive deep into your stories. A good way to understand your stories is to journal, but to more importantly, be aware about the questions you ask. So our questions have the power to do, it's like a, the questions have the power to hypnotize ourselves. And sometimes our questions itself becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like why is sales so hard? Why nobody wants to buy my product? You know, why am I not good enough? Why I can't lose weight? Why I can't earn money? Why can't I find good friends? And the funny thing is, whatever question you ask, you're right. Don't inspect the verbal questions. Inspect the subconscious questions. When you sit down and be still, you know, that's why I love meditation and journaling and mindful awareness. What are questions coming up? Ask yourself a topic, sales. Oh, the questions, fitness. Oh. And soon enough, you'll find these questions and then you can trace it back to your stories. The question leads you to the story. Listen to the question, not to answer the question. Listen to the question to, to discover where it is. Just be curious and stuff and don't judge yourself, you know, because all of us have stories. I, I'm not immune to stories, you know. I got stories about relationships, about fame, <laughs> about success and stuff, you know, but life is all about improving ourselves, isn't it? To grow because for the world to be a better place, we start with ourselves, isn't it? Yeah? So I hope this matters to you because look, I believe that you have the ability to change your life. I believe my audience, the person that I'm teaching is more powerful than anyone because whatever circumstance, whatever stories they say, it's true. And I implore all of you to think about it because look, we have an amazing life. If you're alive today, you can breathe this air, we're blessed. Right? And you're watching this video, you have so much blessings in your life already. And yet, I know so many people who keep saying they have a horrible life. This sucks, that sucks, and it pisses me off because it's not true. Well, it is true if the story says so, but not in my world. We have an opportunity to live an extra day. We have an opportunity to serve people, to experience what, you know, what God has created, if you believe in God, or what the universe has created, and we get to experience this beauty of life everything and for me happens to be cars people and talking to you guys you know so I implore you if you do feel a bit like you're limited in certain areas of your life sit still and take a time and take a brief in breathe in and say hey what questions am I asking myself I hope this uh, vlog I know it's a bit of a rant but because I'm passionate about this I'm passionate about life and uh, I know that we all can have, a, have the opportunity to have a great life, right? So you know, let me know in the comments below. What questions have, in a subconscious way, have been holding you back? You know, mind one, what you heard was the salespeople thing. But breaking out of that spell allowed me to be a great salesperson and it had a huge impact on my finances in my life, right? So, you know, I employ you to look at it, you know, employ you to look at it. Anyways, uh, let me know in the comments below, yeah, what, what stories you have, if you'd like to share. And uh, and if you like this content, please smash the like button for me and hit the subscribe button if you want more content like this as well. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification if you're going to get more content like this as well, okay? So right now, I'm going to go off to start the training with my team. And uh, as soon as the sign bots are up, I will show you guys the shop. Till then, love you guys. And keep it 100%, peace out, okay?